I remember reading an interview with Todd McFarlane uh, when he did the first Spawn movie, and they some people complained they race swapped the character of Terry, who was the bloke that remarried Spawn's wife after he died. Uh, and they said, you know, Mr. McFarlane, can you explain why you went from having a Spawn who's black, Wanda who's black, and Terry who's black to having Terry being white? Why did you race swap him? What's the issue there? And this is back in the what Spawn came out in the nineties, didn't it? Uh, yeah, and he 97 said, or something. There you go, 97. I knew it was around that era. And he said something to the effect of, the executives told me that if we had three black characters as the main characters, people would view it as a quote-unquote black movie and it wouldn't make any money. Nobody would go see it. Only black people would go and see it. So, <clears throat> you know, we've gone from the point where it, it wasn't, you know, the, the races weren't sellable. You couldn't sell something on race. To the point where race is king. Race matters more than anything else. Those designs look fucking atrocious. G'day, g'day, and welcome to Comics Mate, your mates in comics from the land down under. I'm Dean James, and today we're going to be talking about the upcoming Spawn movie, which has been a long time coming. For those of you who don't know, Spawn was created by Todd McFarlane in 1992 and debuted in his own comic book published by Image Comics. His name was Al Simmons and was a US Marine slash government assassin until he was betrayed by his own people, killed and then sent to hell where he made a deal with the demon Malbolgia and was allowed to be reborn as an anti-hero Hellspawn. Todd McFarlane recently came out to share some info on the upcoming film starring Jamie Foxx which has been in development hell, no pun intended, for quite a few years now. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and we'll jump right into this article from Superhero Hype. Todd McFarlane is ready to go to outside investors if movie doesn't happen in 2024 by Brandon Schreuer. Todd McFarlane says he's ready to go to outside investors if the upcoming Spawn movie doesn't get made in 2024. McFarlane initially announced his plans to write and direct a Spawn reboot in 2007, which definitely didn't happen. You know, we're here in 2024 and there's still no news or anything. But let's keep reading. Approximately 10 years later, Spawn made a deal with Blumhouse to produce the film, with Jamie Foxx attached to star in the lead role. As far as everybody knows, Jamie Foxx is still attached, so that's pretty cool. I mean... If anyone's going to play Al Simmons, Jamie Foxx is probably the number one pick for most people. Speaking with Coming Soon back in September, McFarlane was asked about the project's status, considering that Jamie Foxx had had some health scares this past year. According to McFarlane though, he has full belief in Foxx until the actor says he can't do it himself. Until Jamie says he can't, he's still my guy, said McFarlane. I'm very loyal to people, and Jamie was my guy and has been my guy. He's had a bit of a setback, and he says he's going to get back on top of the mountain. I have no doubt. I know Jamie. He is a very strong-willed, determined human being, so he tells me. Don't worry about me, Todd. I'll be there when the bell rings. I'll be there. So I have complete and utter confidence. Progress on the project has stalled since then, though Jason Blum recently said he intends for the movie to be released in 2025, speaking with comicbook.com. McFarlane said that while he still wants to work with Blumhouse on the project, he's ready to go to outside investors if notable progress isn't made on the movie in the coming year. And I mean, yeah, I can, I can understand his frustration right now. It has been, what, 10, 15 years since we got a, our last real piece of news about the Spawn movie, and, and with comic book movies, popularity has since peaked and is now looks like it's going on the way down. They, they would want to get it out sooner rather than later. Todd McFarlane. People have done this before with independent movies. I mean, he's not wrong, you know, there have been plenty of independent movies in the past that have made a lot of money. You don't need to have a massive budget to succeed, like movies like The Joker and Godzilla Minus One have now proven to be true. 2024 is going to be my make or break anyways, right? Either I'm going to give Hollywood the best chance to do it, and if not, I've got plenty of outside investors waiting, McFarlane revealed to comicbook.com. So I'm trying to see if we can make the right deal within the norm of the Hollywood structure. If not, there have been plenty of examples actually, a couple big ones last year, where people went outside the normal channels and succeeded. And people have done this before with independent movies. You make your movie and you just find a distributor. That one, I could do in a heartbeat. That's true, McFarlane is a massive success on his own, he has his own company, and McFarlane toys are a huge thing for collectors. He added, fingers crossed, I'm going to give as much of an effort to those that live within the confines of it, obviously. Jason Blum is one of the better ones at getting things done. They tell me I get to read the script this month, so the email's going out this week to remind them that they promised me that. Something's gotta happen. Something's gonna happen. I just know myself. Something's gonna happen because if I can't figure it out inside, I'll figure it out outside. But hopefully we can figure out a deal that keeps all the parties that have been involved over the years involved. 
Jason Blum has gone on record saying that the reboot will have the Blumhouse edge, and he explained that Todd McFarlane's Spawn reboot will offer an edgier take on the superhero genre. He's quoted as saying, Yes, I'm going to bring the Blumhouse edge. It's going to be edgy and original as compared to other superhero movies. It's going to definitely feel like the Blumhouse version of a superhero movie. I'm a massive fan of Spawn and have been since I was a little kid when my dad bought me the 1997 movie starring Michael J. White and John Leguizamo on VHS, which eventually led me to buying my first comic books. Personally, I'd love to see Leguizamo return as the Violator because he absolutely nailed that role and would no doubt crush it if he was to do it again today. But what do you guys think? Do you think that this movie will ever actually happen? Are you excited to see Spawn be brought back to the big screen? Either way, that's all I have for you today. My name's Dean James, your mate in comics from the land down under. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time. All due respect, that's not in the cards.